Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here. You got some great summer recipes. I do. Dana smelled all his cooking. Had oh, to come over. Drifted right on over. So what do we got here today? I almost need a bigger table today. <laughs> yes, you got a lot of going have, on here. I have a lot of stuff. Um, so, but I've got a lot of veggies. It's that time of the year because mm -hmm. the gardens are getting ready. But I have um, flank steak, which I pounded thin. And it comes in a package and, uh, like this. Comes in a package like this. And then uh, take it out and invest in a, a meat mallet. Use the flat side. And uh, actually put the steak on, a, on your counter, big cutting board, between two pieces of plastic wrap. Uh -huh. And it'll kind of so then you don't have stuff flying all over. Yeah. And pound it thin, flip it over, pound it again. Um, makes it a little bigger. And then stuff it with uh, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, that gives it the salt, and then some basil and fresh uh, parsley. That sounds good. That sounds and delightful. I did it in the food processor. You don't have to. You could chop everything up really mm -hmm. fine. Otherwise, throw those ingredients in the food processor. And that's your stuffing. And then roll up your flank and then tie it. And you, I got eight pieces out of mine. And then um, you want to cut it across the grain. So roll it up so the grains are running this way and then slice across the grain and that's going to tenderize it. Otherwise, usually you marinate flank steak. Like, I love marinating it for fajitas. And how long do you put it on the grill? Um, a little bit longer, about 15 minutes, because these are about, these are pretty thick pieces, about an inch, inch and a quarter. Wow, so is that do, per side? Uh, no, total. Well, total. I, do, I do five minutes, flip them, do another five, then check them. It's a little bit harder to put a meat thermometer into a pinwheel like this with the stuffing and everything, but once you get the outsides all done, I got a nice little char on the top, you know it's ready. And then just put it on a bed of arugula, and then some roasted sweet corn, and then some roasted red pepper, which you can do the same time as your steak. And then you could top with a balsamic Voila. glaze. Beautiful. All Make right. your own or buy it in the supermarket like I do. Oh, you got less than a minute. Okay, so gazpacho steak salad. It just screams summer. So I've got a bed of mixed greens, and we're going to add green pepper, mm -hmm. tomato, cucumbers. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. Everything or garden stuff. Mark, you stir that up. Then I made a homemade okay. dressing. And now I used a can of v spicy V8, and then in there is some garlic, some red wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, some more tomato, some more green pepper. And I'm putting this on right? it? Hold on. Gotta and put then the, the chuck steak. steak. Don't forget the beef. So this calls for chuck steak, but you could use any steak. But chuck needs to be marinated. Marinate it in a second can of the spicy V8 at least 24 hours, so overnight in the refrigerator. Now you can put the dressing okay, on Okay, here we go. Beeftips.com. And then grill the chuck. Beeftips.com is this um, where you can find these recipes. Click on As Seen on TV, plus a lot of other great, really fun summertime recipes, chock full of vegetables and everything that's ready this time of year. Great.